Happy. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be hitting some deadlifts with my friend. We were going to deadlift earlier today, but unfortunately, that didn't go as planned. My deadlift bar over there in the corner. Well, I tried bringing it into my rec center, and I got stopped by a lady, and they brought me into their office. They're like, why are you bringing this in here? Potential hazard, you could hurt yourself and sue us. I know what I'm doing, I'm not gonna hurt myself, and if I did hurt myself, I wouldn't sue you. I'd be at fault. How about we get back to you in like a week? We'll talk to our risk management people. It's like, I'm sorry, but I have to deadlift today. I have to to stay on program because I'm, I'm making disgusting progress right now. It's always We're up to 635 now. I'm gonna try that for three. Three, so yeah, let's just see. Pretty much the footage you're about to watch is some chest footage that I got with Nate Bennett. All of his socials are blowing up right now. His physique is insane, dude. His work ethic is crazy. He's natural. And he's just a very humble, down-to-earth, chill dude. So I'm really thankful I got the opportunity to lift with him and learn from him. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys at the gym. <laughs> Okay, so I just kind of want to point out the fact that I did not mean to do that. I had never done partials with dumbbells before and I lost balance and I torqued my elbow back and dropped it the wrong way. And at first I didn't think it would be that big of an issue, but even now, like three weeks later, I'm still having chest pain on my right pec and shoulder when I go to bench. So I've had to ease my way back into benching. I'm just doing really lightweight right now. I've just been going for volume PRs. Moral of the story, don't be dumb like me. Drop the dumbbells forward or have someone grab them for you. Uh, but yeah, let's just get back to the video. So the footage you're watching is called FS7 and that's something I'd never heard of before until I trained with Nate. And so essentially what you do with your training partner is you each pick a weight you can do for 
10 reps and you do seven sets of it. So it's 70 reps total with 30 seconds rest. And so in between that 30 seconds while you're resting, you have to flex the muscle that you're targeting because it helps with my muscle connection. And let me say this is a awesome way to burn out but it hurts so much and it got to the point where I, I couldn't even press 185 like I had to have Nate pull it up for me was recorded Nate was three weeks out from a show but as of me recording this and uploading the video today he just competed he got first in overall true novice and he placed second in open he competes again very soon his coach is TNF I'm sure you guys most likely know about him anyways thank you guys so much for watching all of Nate's socials will be down in the description I hope you guys enjoyed if you're new make sure to subscribe and if you made it this far comment like banana I don't know something stupid Anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Lock in. Let's go. All you. All mindset from here. This is easy, bro. Lock in. Pull, pull. Pull. Lock out. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit!